You will need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. Ooh, chest. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl! What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece! And if I can't use it, it's worthless. All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? Oh no. Be careful. He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. Exorcist orderly. Okay, Searing Edge is probably not a good one right now. Okay, he's done. Got stunned. You didn't even flinch. Even though you're a party member. Hmm. I am his Moloch no I can't longer. see your stats. Can I? Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals, and that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. The heck is this thing? What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malakim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <clears throat> what do these do exactly? Hmm. That one's closed off for some reason. It won't open. The floor seems pretty much unused. I need to press on. Copper coin times free. Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. Path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks under the watchtower. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, sir. sir.
This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Okay. Um. Red. So, uh, that is convenient. They'll tell you if the dungeon is off limits. This way, huh? Who in the blazes are you? Bow tutorial. Uh, RB lets you see information on the target, okay? Okay, see what. Here I go! Okay. Come on, really? Hmm. You can also check on their equipment drops, huh? Oh, it's gonna have another random equipment system, but I heard it's not as bad as Asteria. Supposedly. How are you going to break them out, though? Looks like it's magically sealed. Listen up! I'm opening every door to every cell! We're getting off this island! What the hell? You serious? Most of you will die in the process. Two groups and rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. By exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? And Melchior? I won't force you! You want to rot in here, then rot. I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's hole. do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too. Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl. like us are always I'm up for sick a of the slop they feed us. Ceres. Let's go. We'll murder those exorcists. There's humans in there too. That ought to draw the attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool I need. Farquad speech. Yep, sacrifice I'm willing to make here. Uh, what the heck is that up there? It seems like there's NPCs I can talk to. It's like this is a mini town area, a town of prisoners. Hmm. Well, what do we do? It's, is it better to run for it or stay? Which should we do? On, your, on one hand, we can't win against the Exorcist. But staying here forever, that's what I'm saying. Which is better? Tell me now or I'll kill you where you stand. Figure it out for your own damn self. Possible these guys are already partially Hellionized. But aren't showing it physically yet. 
kind of like with Maltran. You're not going to escape. Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs. Or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the abbey join forces with the kingdom of Midgand. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure. Until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Molochim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. Ridiculous. Resisting the Abbey spells only death. If only I had a ride, there'd be no problem. Those Hellions are just chilling there. Look at that. You'd never see something like that in Zestiria. Oof. You're, you've attracted a merry band of fools, but we're not falling for it. Hell no, why would I help some perfect stranger? I may have killed 30 men, but that doesn't mean I want to join them. That's right, if you, you have a death wish, by all means, go right ahead. Copper coin. Battle boots. Well, I already mastered my current boots to begin... Wait. Oh, this... Wait, the mastery carries over to another copy of it. But I do get a hit point boosting a passive here for the random skill. Okay, we'll keep that. What's that question mark? Hmm. It's not like I could use this to get a stack a million focus plus fives, huh? Furious Fighter. Hmm. Just shows me which tiles I can get, but there's so many requirements. If I use enough mar martial arts for this. Oh man. Time's controlled. This is what will force me to control everyone to some degree. Okay, the evasion one is going to be tough. I might want to farm that one in a safer place. Grah, I stay here. I like being undead. Better than being regular dead. Dear me, not a word of apology? Okay, are there any enemies spawning behind me? There's a bunch of rooms here, but I don't know which way to go. I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. 
Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. Well, potted plant. Herbs can increase parameters. They'll grow back after you collect them, so use them freely on your favorite characters. Yeah, but revisiting a prison could be difficult. Oh, we're back in the cells. No, is this a different cell? There's no rush. Let the ones who charge where the exorcist down. That's the time to strike. Hey, you're smarter than you look. And if the prisoners start to weaken, we can attack from behind. We may even earn ourselves pardons for helping to put down the riot. Say, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, no matter which way it goes, we'll end the day with full stomachs. Opportunists. Are there any chests here? Hey, there is a chest. Life bottle. Copper coin. Uh, chipped copper coin. I'm content to stay here. There's no one waiting for me on the outside. Huh, they say even demons have friends. I guess that makes me lower than a demon then. They dragged me at my friend below and he never came back. I'm gonna look for him. I probably ate him. That This friend of yours, was he? He was a werewolf like me. You know something about him? No. I don't remember. Probably ate a million werewolves by now. Grah, attack. I show him what I'm made of. Yeah, you do that. If I stay here, eventually I'll catch Demon Blight and they'll feed me to the demons below. But if I try to escape and fail, the exorcist will kill me right here and now. But if I succeed, I get to see my daughter again, but I don't want to die. Damn it, what should I do? A safe point. Coin. Okay, what's in here? Void ring. Reduce non-elemental damage. Good. I already, ma I already mastered the art here. I mean, skill. Master skill. Permanent non-elemental resistance. Alright. This was a random skill. Focus plus five. Mm-hmm. Have split so much here. More? This one. He's a demon. Get ready. Deception! You're not human. Oh my goodness, this guy comboed me so hard. Uh, that guy's strong. He's strong. Chips on the blades already. <laughs> Brittle, these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. 
Why do you even attack us to begin with? If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry. Would be smart to attack only the Exorcist and let the other guy uh, and just use the other guys as cannon fodder. No need to attack people who can potentially be your cannon fodder. Sharpshooter Ventite. I did a pretty bad job during that one. But I at least avoided item usage. Enable Snipe Charge in battle after guarding a set amount of time. Okay, Snipe Charge. Maintain guard for one second and double the chances of inflicting sudden other status effects with an Im immediately following attack. Stormhell. Could that demon be... What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. <sighs> oh, except for you. Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. Whoa, what the- Sounds like it worked. Let's find that tower. Dang, these guys just distractions for us. Heh. <laughs> Suckers. What the- there's a pig guy. He, he's hostile. What? Let us begin! We're finished here. Let's hurry on. Getting out of here comes first. Got the gate to the docks locked down. We can't break through. We've just about quelled this riot. You won't be getting away. <laughs> We're finished here. Let's go. The prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. Popper coin. Another copper coin. More uh, some gold, even though I don't have a shop.
The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Wait, you're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. I see you are truly committed to this. <laughs> You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special powers if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose you. Quick save. Oh, all this loot and no one to spend. Oh, come on. Why are you so close to the save point, you freak? Okay. They put them so close to the save point. That, that makes no sense design wise. Are you sure? This way leads to the main entrance. If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. Mm. Out of curiosity, the enemy behind me respawn. Yup. Here I go. Could strategically use this if the next boss battle is too strong. We're almost there. That's enough. Oscar, I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No, I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right. Graceless demon it is, then. Oh, they're so fast. And they're power linked to him, so I have to kill them, like, now. Lord Artorius himself taught me the ways of purification. How will you fare against them? Oh, there's so many you assholes. Okay, I need to do something about. I can't have searing edge on my thing here. Yeah, you know what? Just make it all the same, whatever. It's not like I've learned anything new, anyways.
God damn it, you guys have to stand so close together. Hey, soul, soul, soul! My, 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 my. Wait, why can't I pick it up? Am I too full on souls? Oh my goodness. Uh, he, he's the resistance of fire, which happens to me when my party members main elements. You're skilled. I will have to expend a Moloch or two for this. More of your vaunted reason! Can't be a dragon this early. Price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench no matter how hard I try, just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Lafayette's. That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world, this frozen people, I'm just that stubborn of a woman. Hurry, before my life fades, do it now. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes. Are one and the same. I treasured those days. When you and I and Arthur were together.
Seems like Ortorius secretly uh, uh, regretted uh, doing the sacrifice there, huh? Since he seems so frustrated. I win by myself. Can I team up? Do I team up with Oscar? I'll eat you. Mm. Battle tutorial. Sorcerer's ring enables uh, 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 enable obtained from devouring series enables you to use break soul. RT to perform break soul. Okay, once they have. Been unlocked for character these powerful arts can be unleashed by holding RT while controlling three or more souls. Such power comes with a cost. If the character loses this one soul and the target gains one. These open attacks ignore combo limits can be used to open combos, allowing for chains that exceed the number of souls currently hacked. Do I have any- Okay, so what do I have here? I don't have anything that's good against dragons, do I? I'm- 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 I'm screwed. I'm actually screwed. Okay. And I need more souls. Why is it with restraining my first one? Is Earth not good against you? You're weak to win, but it's not like um, you're resisting my current attack. Okay, good. That gives me another soul. What the heck is range breath? It has a wider range. Ooh, nice finish. Yeah, that guy, he has an easier attack pattern, but he hits a bit harder than Oscar, maybe? I'm not sure what the numbers are. Ow! Apologies, but I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Velvet! That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. Did she eat the dragon? She is! Please actually give me a tangible boost in battle if I eat that. Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon. 
Moloch, and exorcist alike! I am a monster! I am a Therian! Teleportation? I guess it is a wind Malik, so they could just wind jump or something. Why'd she have the comb? Oh -ho! Finally some place that might not be a death trap! What Should join the party earlier. I thought, this is it, Moggy Lou! This is the end! It would have been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Storm Howl is back in my care. Rokuro Rangetsu, at your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt, one I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters! The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. I gotta level up out of that. I am free victory over a powerful foe. I get fo uh, more great for using my break souls, but I have to actually have a lot of souls saved up in order to use it, otherwise I will be screwing myself over. Soul Dance learned. Vampire Glossite. Okay, provide ability for equipment to trigger random skills which restore hit point. If only I could get those things to drop. Your rest is already full and you're about to defeat an enemy. You can finish off your foe with a break soul essentially for free as you will regain the soul that you spend. You will then be able to go on fighting at the same level. Additionally, performing a break soul comes with significant hit point restoration and can heal you even when inflicted with status ailment. Be sure not to waste this opportunity because it could mean the difference between continuing the fight or getting KO'd. Hmm. Consuming Claw. Hold R2 with three or more souls while s standing by or during a combo to pay one soul and activate. Hitting with this attack will cause Vel uh, Velvet to become Ferionized, which drains hit points but grants additional abilities based on the enemy type. Reaching one hit point and performing an art w w when the maximum combo change has been reached will unleash a break art and end the Ferionization. The lower hit Velvet's hit point, the more powerful the attack becomes. That is quite a dangerous skill to use if it drains my hit point like that. I need a healer. Not, I can't solo with that very easily. <sighs> Guess the weather's feeling as crummy as Unless I could get a set, stay supply of souls. Shoppy. Are you a sailor? No, but I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well then. I certainly owe you this much at least. Brave words! <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy? Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! I'm coming for you, Artorias. Beast Uncaged. And we crashed right here. Okay. Thanks for the heal, I guess. Luffy said. Oh, nuts. I have to do this by myself. Of course. Oh, so fair. Take 
Hey, did Soul drop? Give! Okay, that guy actually seems to be weak to fire. Let's... It doesn't have to be my first one, but... Hmm. Don't replace a demi-human one. Searing Edge. Swallow? What the heck does that do? Winged. Okay, that's actually also good. For that... Dumb bird enemy. Come at me, bro. Doesn't Swallow Dance have free hits? What kind of Tails game is this? My word! A demon muncher! You really are a box of horrors, aren't ya? No, I'm thinking of a different art. Swallow Dance doesn't always have free hits. It might have one or two, I don't know. Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. Why'd you drop your knives from before then? Wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry, long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. Damn, that, there goes my healer. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Something worth breaking out of prison for. There's a city called Helavis nearby. I can't promise they're much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. Hmm. Earn EXP and gold through victory in battle. Characters will level up when they have earned the required uh, uh, amount of EXP. Okay. The character who finishes off the last enemy in each battle will earn bonus EXP based on the longest combo during a fight. It's only for the what for a death blow, really? Seems kind of bad for. That's probably trying to force you to rotate. Okay. Velvet, you know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No, I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Uh, I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? So this is how escaped prisoners behave. Oh. Gold. Mogilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. Hey, I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me! You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement! Your words cut deeper than these northern winds! <laughs> Lamestone chip. Whoa, that's a new one. I don't think I should sell that. It seems like an actual rare ingredient. Hmm. Let's 
going to be painful to do this with only one party member. Oh, it's a lot of enemies. Oh, the wind, it bites! How can you stand wearing that garb? It doesn't seem humanly possible. I never said I was human. Bell tutorial. It looks like we're gonna be losing and run away. Ow. Fall back and regroup! Oh come on, that could have won that one. So nice to be free again. Able to move these bones around like I want. So, Rokuro, what got you all chained up in that mold hole? Ties to home. It's complicated. Oh, then are you really sure you ought to be taking on further debts? It's a teaching of House Rangetsu. Pay what you owe. Well, what a civilized family you've got. Were you in for long? Three years, maybe. That's why I know so little about the state of the world. Oh, gosh, me too! Art-wielding Malakim! I've never seen such a thing! How much else have I missed? Used to be witches who had a monopoly on charms and hexes. Can you even comprehend what this'll do to business? Should I even ask why you were imprisoned? <laughs> Begged for unlicensed witchcraft. It was a tale of betrayal most wicked and foul! Mm. Care to hear more? You'll cry, I'll laugh, emotions will touch the rafters! No, thank you. Oh, I see something. Rosemary. Life bottle. Okay. That slides all the way back down, and I think I need some kind of wind ability to cross that gap. Yeah. Flamestone chip. I'm in so much trouble, so much trouble. Won't somebody please help a kitty out, meow? Oh, look, another weirdo. That thing talks? What if it's a cat demon? Simmer down, big man. She's just a cat. Haven't seen one in a good long while. Cats? Is that different from a regular cat somehow? It's complicated. Cats are a mysterious bunch. Just think of them as a special kind of Moloch. Sort of. That well, works for me. I understand that they're hard to understand, at least. Hey, I don't suppose you happen to be carrying any cat spirits on you? They look like this. That's just like what I found at Titania. Perfect. You could say they're kind of like our souls to us. Cat spirits, huh? Sometimes we call them kitten caboodles, too. That's just foolish. Really? Then how about kitty clumps? <sighs> anyway, one night we were having a feast so meavelous, our souls flew right out of our bodies. That's why I need your help to find the cat spirits and use them to emiausipate my friends. Emiausipate? Really? It means to use cat spirits to free cats who are locked away in cats' boxes like these here. Meow. Here you'd say Apesipate. This one would be Edoxipate. And finally... Phew! I'm free, Meow! See? Emiosipate! By that logic, shouldn't it be Ecatsipate? Wow, you're way more clever than you look! For real! I guess I totally underestimated you! Please, our cat spirits got scattered fur and wide, and so many sad cats are trapped without them! Seek out the cat spirits and rescue our poor clost brothers and sisters, Meow! And why should I? Please, think of the cats! You know, cats have weird and mysterious powers. There's a good chance we might benefit by having them in our dead. We'll make it worth your while, I promise! And, if we snub them, they might put a curse on us. 
That has been known to happen. Ew. <laughs> if we're doing all this traveling anyway, why not help them on the side? Just remember that it's on the side. Cat spirits. We collect them by touching them. Special chest that can be opened with cat spirits to gather. Open a cat's box will free the cat's trapped inside. Some of whom will give you a gift of cut ten gallon hat. Why didn't he clumps and emancipate my friends? Something good will happen then, I'm sure. I go here? Comfrey? Oh no, there's exorcists there. How do we get past? Do they, they might know what I look like. Exorcists. Well, that's just inconsiderate. Word of the prison break couldn't have traveled so quickly. I somehow doubt they'll just let us in looking the way we do. I... I apologize about earlier. I didn't mean to steal this. The compass. It's not bait, is it? You okay with this? He could be working for the exorcists. I'm following him. Hmm. Is he your dessert? If necessary. Got compass back. So what you don't want don't you want dessert? Looks like the kid went by the coast. Hmm. Invisible wall preventing me from going anywhere but there. Oh but I can't even reach that shiny, no. Okay. You must have gone this way. Big open area. Oh, a vine. Sage obtained. I probably don't want to jump back down there. There's nothing for me. Flamestone chip again. Twenty two cat souls. Blame some ship. There's a ladder. A storehouse? <laughs> that smell. Flamestone. Flamestone? Also known as Malkionite, a rare mineral only found in Northgand. Mix it with sulfur, and you get explosives! Mix it with oil, and you get fuel! Sounds dangerous, if it's true. Believe me or not, it's your call. Looks like the boy got away. Well, we're in the city now. Well, then let's scout for the Maritime Guild. Whoever's in charge of all these storehouses must have their hands in the shipping trade and shipbuilding. And we could use a true sailor, if we can find one. Now that's a plan I endorse! We dodged the sea's murderous grasp this time, but who's to say our luck will hold? We should look for some weapons, too, if I'm to be any use in a fight. You're still wearing one. Nope, not an option. I First thing is talking with the guild, and I can't just leave anymore.
Got some gold. Life bottle. Flamestone chip. Fire ring? But I didn't even master my current ring yet. Not good. Takes about a week for a large craft to sail south to Low Grace and Midgen. Is that so? They say the savior Artorius is there. I'd love to see him with my own eyes, but it's too far for me to travel. A week by ship, eh? Suppose that means swimming is right out. Artorius. The storehouse is full of dangerous stuff. No one can enter without permission. Dread it all, at least the cargo's all aboard as planned. But the Abbey's really clamped down their inspections ever since the disaster. It's a hassle, but inspections are in everyone's interest. The Abbey's rules keep things fair and equal. When I grow up, I'm gonna be an exorcist! Me too! I wanna protect my mommy and daddy! Hold up! Exorcists are warriors who protect the whole world from demons! You can't just protect your parents, you've gotta protect everyone! Oh, that sounds really hard. <laughs> it is. And it's precisely because the exorcists are working so hard that we look up to them. Yeah! Exorcists are the best! <laughs> They're treated like heroes. I suppose to normal people, they are. What would they have to sacrifice their parents for the greater good? Praetor Teresa can manipulate a pair of child Malachim simultaneously. That means she can perform double the deadly arts. I saw a blonde one walking around by himself once. He was holding a really fat book too. There are beasts in the seas beyond here, pirates that prey on training vessels like a pack of hyenas. But they won't get away with it much longer, there's a special cage with their name on it. A special cage for pirates? A real beauty, ain't she? The latest design in Carrix. Able to sail the open seas with plenty of room for cargo. We'll carry the resources of the north to every part of the empire and bring the world's goods to Hellaways. I haven't seen you around before. You register, uh, you're, you're registered as a visitor, right? We don't put up with rule breakers here in Helloways. Helloways has the largest number of exorcists in the north. They're led by Teresa Linares, a praetor of praetors. Put a, a couple hundred daemons in front of her and she wouldn't even flinch. Aye, right, compared to three years ago, it's almost like a dream how peaceful things are now. And it's all thanks to the exorcists for warring the demons off. I need someone taking care of a ship. Is there anywhere that might help me? The local shipping guild handles everything ship-related here. Just keep heading down this road. Thanks, we'll go ask there. The sanctuary is dedicated to the Empyrean. Offer your prayers to, for a clearer vision. A cat's box? Lavender obtained. Wait, there's a... It's up here. I just realized, we don't need keys to open silver and gold chests anymore. There must be a secret here. Yes. Amber Garment. There's a group of sailors. Is that the guild? Oh, hey, that weapon shop looks promising. Good luck with the shipwright search. Boys. Poor creatures just can't be separated from their favorite toys, can they? It's true. What are we going to do? This is going to kill our livelihoods. There's nothing we can do. We can't go against the Abbey's orders. I can't believe that things turn out this way. Requires 15, okay. Found the cats. Square glasses. Is this a shipping guild? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me, we need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. 
Lady Teresa. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? Uh. Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. Do you disagree with it? No, my lady. We will capture, interrogate, and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. And you, girl. Aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgown was so cold. Hatch! A young woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. How the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cruel, cruel world these days. I see how things stand. If I catch this dial person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you, he's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. Can't be done without an exorcist. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. While you wait, find us a good navigator. That was a demon lizard. With his one of his current this current called Snap, you should be able to kill him easily while he hibernates. Remember, he's not human anymore. He's a vicious monster, so show him no mercy. Oh, well, a vicious monster too. What darling Rokoro's got up to in the meantime. Let's check in on him at the weapon shop. Hope he didn't spend too much money. Demons killed my grandpa and grandma when I was little. Mom says my un uncle and cousins got eaten by demons. But I'm not sad anymore. The exorcist killed those demons and avenged my family. I'm not sad either. Thank goodness for the exorcist. Yay, exorcist. Talk about the first for re revenge. Also, what's to say that the your family didn't turn to demons too and maybe kill each other? That is also a, a possibility. No, wait, do these respawn? I feel like some items respawned while I was talking. Weird. Meddling with demons is madness. Don't say I didn't warn you. Prayers have a stronger resonance and can temper more in greater Malakim. Their uniforms are also different, so you can tell them apart at a glance. The Abbey runs the world, so it's best to know at least a little about their organization. I haven't seen Diana around lately. I think her murdered Medissa said she came down with measles. Verbena. Probably wait until I get the full party before distributing these. Hopefully there won't be an Alicia situation where I just dump everything into a temporary guest character. Resonance is, an, is a divine gift from the Empyrean that gives us the ability to temper Malachim. We orderly stand on the front lines as a bulwark to protect the people from demons. Praetors are our superiors, we also have civil and economic duties and lead religious services. It's not a position for the faint-hearted. Speaking of which, wasn't there a building? Huh. Is there anything in that building? Am I penalized if I try to enter it now? Bunch of people praying, but maybe there's some loot. These lamps are dedicated to the exorcists and soldiers who gave their lives in our defense. We can do a little more than offer our gratitude and remember them. Thank you, it means a lot finding in the knowledge that someone will be around to remember me. We'll be married soon, I couldn't be happier. That makes two of us. The exorcists have delivered us from three years of torment at the hands of demons. 
We truly cannot thank them enough. All we can do is pray for their safety. Hmm. I hope Teresa's services start soon. I want to hear about the new order. It won't be long, so just wait quietly. From obedience comes order, remember. Yes, Mom. People seem to wander to, to, to the sanctuary whenever they find themselves idle. Nearly everyone has lost a loved one since the opening. Even my own husband fell to demon blight, and... Don't cry, Ma uh, me. The exorcist made sure that Daddy's soul went to the Empyrean. You're right. Let's pray that his spirit rests easily in the bosom of the Empyrean. Hmm. <clears throat> Lord of the Void in all creation, Eternity and Ether, Empyrean and Nominat, please hear my humble prayer. Forgive us of our sins, relieve us of our suffering, bring tranquility to our souls. Amber Fragment. This is a wonderful place to live. Having exorcists around makes it really safe. I wouldn't complain if it were a bit warmer, though. Spirits are drinks for grown-ups and fuel for the soul. Every place makes them in their own way, but drink in them and you're drunk. That's the rule. Pick up. He says seeing a Malik is as common as seeing a cat or dog. But it sure was an eye-opener when they started appearing three years ago. Where do you suppose they came from? They seem to be alive, but they don't answer if you call them. They're a real mystery, eh? Beardsley and Helloways are villages in the frozen west. I warn you now, though, there aren't uh, they aren't places good-hearted folks should be visiting. The Abbey isn't letting people go further north than the Faldi's Ruins checkpoint on the Figal Ice Caps. If you plan going through, you're wasting your time. The Abbey provides people with special. Uh, 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 Malik forged weapons that work against demons. I don't stand much of a chance against those monsters, but I'll gladly do what I can to keep everyone else safe. Mm. The inn. No, it's a tavern. Uh. The men at the table, they're saying some terrible things. I'm going to tell the Abbey about them. Taverns are made to filter out the garbage of society. To help the order and rules, curse those stone-hearted exorcists. Tell me, is a life without drink really a life worth living? You said it. I, can al I almost hope I come down with demon blight so I can drink their blood instead. Wow. Mm. Hey, wait, is that cat... Twenty nine gold. Uh. Turn silver coin. Okay. You don't have to worry about getting attacked by demons while you're here in Helavis. This town is under the protection of the Abbey Praetor, Lady Teresa Linares. She keeps us all safe. Wow. She must really be something else. She is. She's lauded as the frozen queen of the exorcists. She's as cool as ice and as pure and dazzling as freshly fallen snow. She's just the white knight Helavis needs. Our town is as beautiful and pristine as it is because we have Lady Teresa here with us. Anyone who disturbs her order, whether human or demon, will be frozen by her wrath, soul and all. Sounds just like an exorcist. The way she glares at the filthy... Oh, if only she would look at me like that, with those ice-cold eyes. Teresa, my love. If she lets idiots like him run around loose, then I'm sure she's not as infallible as he thinks she is. I've said before, I'll say it again. I love Teresa.
Boy, it's cold out there, eh? Get, uh, uh, get over to the stove. Fancy a bowl of soup? Don't be shy now. The Abbey teaches us to help each other out, right? Hmm. Or fragment. Oh, shoot. I didn't I just need to talk to her normally, casually. Why is that supposed to be so hard? Today's the day I'm going to talk to her, but... Is he talking about Teresa? This one can be opened. The shipping guild is under wing of the Abbey. They've turned the city into the greatest trading hub in the north. Hello Waste has been uh, almost shamefully uh, rich these past few years. I know what you mean. Is it just me or is the guild taking more than their fair share? I, I'm just a small time trader, so it could be j just be jealousy speaking. It's in the bucket. Welcome. Come a uh, cold out there, isn't it? Come on in and rest up a while, won't you? What? We don't get to pick our meals and get bonuses from them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, w I hope there's a one that increases my uh, my drops and such. That would be really useful. Just like in Zestiria, raided millions of gold just to get my characters decently st 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 strong. Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun! Kids. You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My palate has standards. High standards. All the more reason to skedaddle! Okay, he's finally in the party. He can start contributing. He already has a fire ring, but he didn't master any of the older stuff yet. Hmm. He has amber boots, though. All boots he did not master. Ugh. Is it worth trying to master all the really old stuff? He, hey, he doesn't have as many titles as Velvet. I guess it's because Velvet's a main character. Skills discovered. Hmm. These the unlegitimately dressed gentleman sure us a, a knife for blades. Some of the older items here are made from the same materials as exorcist equipment. Look at how many different versions of Amber Blade there are. That's, that's crazy. Need some Amber Boots. seeing anything for Rokuro here. Look, a yak. Hey, Velvet, here's a fun fact. Yak tail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. 
Wow, really? Also, I don't care. At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. Okay, so there's an event if I rest here, huh? That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but come to think of it, this is just him being him. Jacketless outfit. Apparently this is missable. Well, I found some warm soup. My next quest calls for a heartwarming tale. Now, where in this place can I find one of those? Did you hear? That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates, then ran off. Demon Blight? In Hell of Ease? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah, you're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? I wonder. Does hat style? Yes, it does. Hat style exposes his entire right side. Hmm. Let me get this straight, Alpha Area. You want to form an alliance with my Gamma area to bring down the Betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed. If your Alpha forces and my Gamma forces work together, Beta area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an alliance, Alpha area. Excellent! We shall be victorious in this year's Hell of Ease Grand Snowball Fight! Let us toast to our victory! This isn't a snowball fight, it's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools! I was the one who engineered their alliance! Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta Army sweeps down upon them! They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All's fair in snow and war. Oh, well, what are they doing now? Let's talk more about it once we've had lunch. Alright, at my house we're having Mabo Curry for lunch today. For real? Wow, I wish I lived at your place. Mabo Curry? Some people have all the luck. This cold is beyond ordinary. 
Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that, what do they call it again? Uh, global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. That's cold, cold, cold. It's so cold I'm getting heated just talking about how cold it is. What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports flamestone and sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives? Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too, with pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for Flamestone, Halloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. Well, we live through another day. Praise be to the Abbey and Lord Artorius. That village, the one that uh, full of folk who won't listen, you, listen to the Abbey? Anyone could have seen that coming. That'll turn demon, now, and he came from that village. We can't be letting strangers in the town. Okay, bought a few more things. Now I got Wanderer's Ventite. Increase map movement speed by 10. Okay, good. I, I was already pretty slow. Hmm. Do I have a life bottle? Okay, now it, the bar is moving much slower. Thanks for tuning in this Let's Play of Tales of Berseria. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.